we rolled out 911 in you know the second half of the last century, it was this great revolutionary thing, and we encouraged people like call anytime you have an emergency, call 911. Over time, the community has realized that police officers do not need to go to every call, and we absolutely agree. Phoenix 911, what's the location of your emergency? We're leading the valley in call diversion. We're transferring about 600 calls a month over to the crisis line. It is a balance of keeping the public safe, the person safe, and the officer safe. But at the end of the day, if the officer doesn't need to go and we can get them the correct resource and still get them help, that's what we're here to do in communication. It's so important that we actually have a mental health clinician from Solari Crisis and Human Services embedded in our dispatch. And it's such a huge help because she can listen into our calls. If a call gets entered into the system and she's like, actually, you know, we can take that call. We can send resources out. She's there to answer questions, to make sure that the transfers go smoothly, and to make sure that this is seamless and simple and people are getting the help that they need fast. And then we also have our behavioral health units, which are embedded in a fire, and they can go out and they can take the calls as well. Working with our outside partners and working with the fire department in the uh, community assistance program to be able to divert calls, to make sure that those calls that don't need to be handled by a sworn officer are, are handled by clinicians. And a big piece of that is making sure that we have a clinician within our communication center. We started with a grant because we had to fund the time that we were taking somebody out of their normal job to spend with us. And when the grant ended, the city didn't even blink. They immediately funded it because it's, it is such an impactful program for the community. And they have been 100% behind us from the start.